Authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. We take a look once again in the tropical Atlantic. It may see a system develop out here, but if indeed it does, it's not going to head towards the U.S. It will move away, so that looks good. And here's the remnants of what was that big-time hurricane just a couple of days ago. It's kind of lifted up into Texas now, throwing moisture north, and it's also going to help bring the rain chances into this area as we head into the day Friday. We'll talk about the timing on that here in a little bit. 33 this morning as we started out today, kind of cold. 56 the daytime high. We ought to be at 63, so we continue with the below normal temperatures here in October. No rain out there today, but we've got rain in the forecast. Farmers are going at it on the harvest. They may get a little break in there as we head into Friday. We have to slow down. Here's your sunrise sunset for tomorrow. 10 hours, 46 minutes of daylight. River stage in Terre Haute about six and a half feet, and it is holding steady. Currently at the airport in Terre Haute, 54. Relative humidity, 43 percent. Winds are east to 10. Pressure up pretty high, but high pressure starting to move away from the area. These temperatures pretty much in the mid to upper 50s across the area. We do have a 50 up here in Crawford but pretty much mid to upper 50s everywhere else. Here's the moisture coming in from the southwest. You can definitely see that, and that's what we're going to be watching as we head through. Not so much tomorrow, clouds tomorrow, but the rain chances are going to be here as we head into the day coming up on Friday. So right now, rain across portions of Oklahoma, Kansas, down into Texas, where they don't need any more rain. Flooding issues, of course, in parts of Texas. Here at home, nothing going on other than some thin clouds are starting to move in. Those clouds will tend to thicken during the overnight hours. So here's the timing on that. The clouds will move in and kind of thicken tonight. Tomorrow should remain dry, but the clouds continue to thicken, move in. So we're looking at mostly cloudy skies as the day wears on. And then as we get into tomorrow night, late, early Friday, we'll stop this around 6.40 a.m. We start to see some of these rain showers moving in as we start the day Friday. Looks like they will hang around as we head through the day Friday. Might be tapering off some towards evening, but again, this is around 6 o'clock. We still have some rain showers around even as we head into Friday evening, it looks like. By Saturday, that system moves away. So I think we get a break on Saturday. Saturday night, Sunday, here comes the next system with the next rain chance. So that's Saturday night, Sunday, after a break on Saturday during the day. That'll clear out on Monday. And then as this high pressure starts to move in, we'll see somewhat warmer air to the west start to move up across the area. And we actually see temperatures getting a little bit warmer, still below normal, but a little bit warmer as we head into later next week. How about timing out this rain for you? Well, we don't see anything as we head through tonight or during the day tomorrow. Once we get into Friday here, 6 a.m. starts to move in, kind of hangs around. However, notice by Saturday noon, a break. I think we'll see that break continue through the day Saturday, but here's Sunday at noon, rain with the next system moving in. That should move out by Monday morning, and behind it then it looks like the rest of Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday should be dry here in this area. There's another system off to the west, but again, right now we think Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week looking pretty dry. How about the temperatures? That system will pull some colder air in as well. You'll see that as we head for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday right there, but it modifies a little bit as we head into early next week as the cold shifts to the west. And look at this longer term first week of November shoving the cold to the west. We might actually warm up a little bit here for the first week of November. Forecast tonight, fair and chilly. Clouds on the increase, 36 for the low. During the day tomorrow, becoming cloudy, but hasn't already become cloudy by morning. A little bit cooler, highs mid to upper 50s. And then after that, rain chances are in here on Friday and also on Sunday. Highs in the 50s. Right now, it looks like a little warming trend. Highs back near 60 one week from today. That's your forecast. Now it's time to head over to Nicole.